here today to welcome Arca Space Corporation, Las Cruces, New Mexico. It's a great day here in Las Cruces. Uh, thanks again for being here. Uh, this is uh, a proud day for Las Cruces, and, and it's something that we at Mavita feel particularly proud of because this is what we consider to be true community-based economic development. Uh, this is part of our initial efforts to attract and support uh, the aerospace industry here at Las Cruces, uh, particularly in the uh, UAV industry. Uh, so thank you all for making time to be here today. There's plenty of thanks to go around. I want to introduce just a few people, some of our elected officials in the audience, uh, and we'll introduce those on the stage here uh, shortly. First, I want to introduce, uh, I believe he's here, Chuck Franco, the first gentleman. I don't know. If he's working. Okay, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> the... Uh, this is one of those opportunities where you either get to mess it up by missing somebody or calling out someone who's not here, so I apologize for that. <laughs> Give him our regards. Um, I, I think I also saw Peter Ibarro from Representative Pierce's office. Thank you. Uh, Melanie Goodman from Senator Udall's office. Thank you. Gabe Vasquez from Senator Heinrich's office. Thank you. Uh, Javier Perea, Mayor of Sunland Park. Is Mayor here? I don't think so. Okay. Um, Greg Smith, uh, Councilor City Las Cruces. I know he's here. I talked to him earlier. Thank you. And Gil Sorg, Councilor City of Las Cruces. Thank you. And it's also nice to see as I've, I've walked around and, and look, uh, talked to people and looking out in the crowd right now, I see a lot of people from the city uh, representing various staff offices as well as from NMSU. Uh, our chambers are represented. Uh, I've seen people from the bridge from, and from a very variety of uh, private interests. So thanks again. That's why we think this is such a great event from a community standpoint. Uh, give you just a brief background, and I'll, I'll get off the stage and let uh, everyone else have a few minutes to speak. But I, I want to say thanks to several people who are instrumental in making this happen. Uh, first, I want to say thanks to Pat Hines, uh, who was uh, involved in this going back as far as 10 years ago through uh, uh, some introductions that were made through the uh, ISPCS. And uh, we're very grateful for, for your involvement. Thank you. Um, Pat introduced uh, Mavita to ARCA. And what we've done through Mavita's efforts is really just introduce a variety of uh, resources throughout our community to make this to make today possible, to make this investment in Las Cruces possible. Um, I want to say thanks to uh, the folks at NMSU, through the PSL, the College of Engineering, through Arrowhead, for all the things that they've done to make this possible. Um, one thing we don't want to forget is this story had its beginning about 10 years ago when PSL started the, the flight test center here in Las Cruces. So that's created a very unique asset in Las Cruces that's not available anywhere else in the country. And we're hoping to capitalize on that greatly. Um, thank you to the city of Las Cruces for all of your efforts in making this happen uh, through uh, uh, creating a unique opportunity for ARCA to have space out here at the airport. Uh, the city has been very instrumental in, in bringing this to fruition, so thank you to the city of Las Cruces for all of your efforts. Uh, thank you to Secretary Borella for all of your efforts in making this happen. Uh, you bring a lot of resources to make sure that, that we have longevity available for ARCA in this community. So thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you to the staff at the JTIP offices and also to the New Mexico Partnership for all the energies that they've expended in making this happen. And also many thanks to Governor Martinez for all the, the work that you've done to make New Mexico business friendly, for all of the policies that you've enacted and all of your work to, to make these things possible. Thank you for being here today and thank you for all of your work. Okay, without further ado, I'll introduce our first speaker, the mayor of the city of Las Cruces, Ken Miyagashima. All right, Craig, thank you very much. Good, uh, good morning, everybody. Governor, uh, Secretary Dumitru. I got that right, I've been practicing a little bit here. On behalf of the city of Las Cruces, I'd like to welcome you to Las Cruces. Uh, and we're going to dub it the Aerospace Valley of the United States, okay? <clears throat> so let's get that in the press, everybody, okay? 
Aerospace Valley of the U.S. I noticed that that's how the Silicon Valley started. So he called someone said Silicon Valley in the United States. So there we go. Headline, okay? Aerospace. Well, with ARCA here, they join um, <coughs> SpaceX and Virgin Galactic as visionary companies of the future. You know, partner that with NMSU's PSL, uh, the College in Engineering, White Sands Missile Range, Spaceport America. Dimitri, you couldn't have picked a better location. And uh, I, just to let you know, uh, Las Cruces was recently ranked number one of the top 30 cities in the, in the nation for STEM jobs. So you're going to have plenty of uh, smart people working for you, okay? Also, uh, New Mexico ranks number one per capita for PhDs in, in the state of New Mexico. So that's uh, just to let you know how smart we are here in New Mexico, okay? So uh, I want to congratulate you on building the Air Strato unmanned aerial vehicle here in Las Cruces. And um, as was mentioning, Craig was mentioning, although he, he mentioned quite a few, but I'd like to just reiterate a couple things. Uh, in addition to, in addition to uh, Aerospace Valley of the United, the United States, Pat Hines has a new title. Her title is Queen of Aerospace, okay? <laughs> yes. You made it happen, Pat. Thank you for all that you do, as, of course, as director of the New Mexico Space Grant Consortium. Uh, we also want to thank PSL there at NMSU for establishing the Flight Test Center. Uh, Davin Lopez and his team, I know they weren't able to be here, but Craig, please give him our regards. I want to thank uh, Paulina from New Mexico Partnership. Thank you for uh, helping us a great deal. Doug Boberg at the Arrowhead Center. I saw Doug here earlier. I don't know where he's went. Kevin, I'm not Doug. I'm sorry, Kevin. I apologize. And uh, Dr. Ricardo Hawkes, Dean of NMSU's College of Engineering. I don't know if he's here, but thank you, uh, Dr. Hawkes. City Manager Robert Garza and Gary Camareno of the City of Las Cruces, thank you very much for all your hard work. Robert's getting ready for his big day today. Secretary Barella, thank you for helping us structure this lead up package. And Governor Martinez, of course, thank you for your uh, great job in creating policies that allow us to do this and um, allowing ARCA to land here in Las Cruces. And also for appointing uh, Secretary Barella so to help us. So with that, I'm going to keep it short. So that's all I've got. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming out here today. And uh, I think we need to buy one new one of these. So let's keep slipping here. Okay. Greg. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce City Councilor Nathan Small. Thank you very much, uh, Craig Buchanan and Mavita for hosting such a wonderful event. I want to begin, of course, by welcoming everyone to District 4 in the city of Las Cruces. Uh, we have many different parts of the city, uh, and this is a very key part of it here at the airport. As the mayor mentioned briefly, the history of space and technology here in the Mesilla Valley from White Sands all the way west is a storied one. This cements that legacy and firmly positions Las Cruces and Doñana County to be the headquarters at, for aerospace moving into the future. And that is such an exciting and very positive place to be. I want to conclude the thank yous have been said. Without those, all of us who know that economic opportunity is so critical to enhancing quality of life for our state, know that those partnerships and those thank yous can't be said enough. First, of course, with Dimitru and with ARCA, the entire uh, courage and vision and true vision that they represent is so exciting and to land here. The thank yous to the state, of which this is the third such partnership with the city of Las Cruces, innovative efforts to expand opportunity, and extending, and starting with Governor Martinez and of course Secretary John Varela, but extending and expanding through all the different people who are here, private, public, academic, and otherwise, and many who are not. That's how true economic opportunity is expanded. So the responsibility moving forward is to stick to the script, create jobs through working together, and everybody has a place at that table. Uh, with that, I want to conclude again just by saying thank you. It's so honored 
to be here today for a very significant step forward. Craig, I will yield back to you. Thank you all. Uh, next, I'd like to welcome to the podium Councilor Seal Levitino, representing the Las Cruces Advisory Board. Excuse me, the Las Cruces Airport Advisory Board. Thank you, Craig. Governor Martinez, Secretary Barella, Mr. Popescu, invited guests. This is a great day. A city councilor, a member of the Airport Advisory Board, it's been my pleasure to work with a professional and committed group of people, some of whom are here today. And that, that, our group has been ably um, guided by Lisa Murphy, who is the airport manager, the city airport manager, and she's done a great job out here. And uh, it's a pleasure to work with her and all of the other professionals who serve on that board. Our board is dedicated to the vision of this airport becoming a first-class facility. And with Arca Space Corporation now joining our other partners out here in the industrial park zone, I believe that's going to happen sooner rather than later. We have an excellent FBO with Francis Aviation on site, and I guarantee they are ready to service the increase we expect in corporate and private aircraft, air traffic. Folks, this airport is an economic engine for the community. The city recognizes that and has always been a supporter of the unmanned aircraft industry as they have tested and flown at the airport for many years. Our relationship with NMSU is a prime example of over a decade of successful collaborative efforts. Having ARCA now on site is just another example of that support and commitment of the city. Mr. Popescu, I want to add my name to the list of those who welcome you to ARCA and to Las Cruces, and we look forward to many, many years of a successful collaborative relationship. Thank you again, and thank you for everyone. Everyone, I think, has pretty much been um, mentioned who's been involved in getting this uh, to this point, and um, I just want to add my name to the congratulations and thank you to everyone who's been involved in getting this here, particularly Pat. She's done a great job, and um, again, I look forward to a long and prosperous relationship. Thank you. Next, I'd like to welcome Mike Cheney, Chairman of the NMSU Board of Regents. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Craig. I don't know that I've done this publicly, but Governor, thank you for appointing me to the Board of Regents. It's the most challenging and rewarding thing I think I've ever done. <laughs> so thank you for that. Um, at NMSU, we are a caring community transforming lives through discovery. We work hard to collaborate and work and do our fair share in, in the communities that we're in to improve life for New Mexicans. This year, New Mexico State received the Community Engagement Classification from the Carnegie Foundation, a research policy center recognized worldwide. This is a tribute to our students, our faculty, and our staff. Speaking of research, in the last seven years, did you all know that New Mexico State University has generated over a billion dollars in research funding? This is outstanding, and it's a, it's a big tribute to our uh, graduate students and to our faculty. Uh, this brings dollars into New Mexico, economic prosperity, and helps us bring knowledge to the world through good work of our students and faculty. The concept of discovery is in our DNA. We're a land-grant university in New Mexico since 1888, and our charge is to provide research, public outreach, and education. It's this kind of research that provides the impetus for creation of new industry, like aerospace. I want to welcome ARCA formally to Las Cruces, even though NMSU and ARCA have been working together already. We will support your efforts through education and research. Our students are knowledgeable and available for internships. Um, our, your employees can further their education here. Our tuition ranks number two in affordability amongst 15 peer institutions. Uh, and this is in large thanks to our governor and our legislature for the great funding that they do for higher education in New Mexico. The Brookings Institute ranked NMSU alumni in the top 10% when comparing demographically predicted salaries to actual salaries received. This is evidence of NMSU's value added. Our entrepreneurial spirit has been validated by recognition from the Association of Public Land Grant Universities by giving us the Innovation and Economic Prosperity uh, designation. 
I'm happy for Las Cruces in that we've attracted a bright new star to our community. And I'm happy for ARCA, for their decision to move here. You will, this decision is gonna be reinforced over the years as you experience our beautiful state, our wonderful culture, and our proud and hospitable people. On behalf of the NMSU community, I have a small token of our esteem, and I wanna welcome your family and your team to the Aggie family. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Uh, next, I'd like to uh, ask up to the podium from the state of New Mexico, Secretary John Barella. Good morning. It's great to be back home. Uh, you know, I grew up here, uh, went to high school here, went to Cruces High, and uh, sent two of my kids to NMSU, and proud to say that. And uh, really proud to say, too, that uh, from a personal standpoint, you know, uh, NMSU and the Physical Science Lab, PSL, uh, is an important part of our family. My mom uh, worked for 25 years there, retired from PSL, so I know the great work uh, that they do there, Joanne, and your organization at PSL is a fantastic uh, complement to the mission that uh, takes place at NMSU. Uh, wonderful people work there, and again, grateful for, uh, you know, behalf of my family for that opportunity to have uh, also uh, worked there one summer in the machine shop, so <laughs> it was. Uh, it's been a, been a good part of our family and a great part of the community over many many years. So it's really neat to uh, to be back and to celebrate this wonderful announcement with everybody here today. Uh, to everybody here as well, the uh, city of Las Cruces, mayor, councilors, uh, all the folks that get involved in uh, our economic development efforts. We really do need a local partner, and uh, the city has stepped up in a big way uh, to help out, and we are here today because of the partnership with the city. Of course, Mesilla Valley Economic Development Alliance, Mavida, thank you for your staff. Eric and Davin uh, do a great job. Craig, your board, uh, do a wonderful job recruiting business. And I always say this, if you're not a member of Mavida, please join. Uh, it really is important to have these kind of alliances and the private sector not only advocating for job retention and creation, uh, but also helping us with legislative initiatives uh, up in Santa Fe. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, Regent Cheney, uh, all the NMSU folks, uh, what a wonderful institution. We sure appreciate all the efforts and collaborations that you provide with us. We've been here now multiple times announcing projects with NMSU, and it's always a pleasure to do that. So thank you for your leadership and your time. Um, I'm um, finally, uh, really the man of the hour, uh, Dimitri. I met Dimitri about, it was about a month ago, and I was so incredibly impressed by him. Uh, really a great vision, uh, talked about his business model, uh, talked about his uh, professional uh, background, uh, his uh, company, uh, the things that he does, and this young man, this gentleman here is going to do some great things here in Las Cruces. So, uh, you're not that young, you say? Well, man, I don't know. I want to have whatever you're having to make, to make you look young. So, uh, But we're really thrilled to have him here today and uh, really, really appreciate your belief and investment into New Mexico and into Las Cruces. How old are you, man? How old? 38. 30. Well, you're a young guy, man. He says he's 38. Well, I was, I, okay, man. I mean, is that considered like old somewhere else in the world or something? <laughs> I tell you, man, you still look young, 38-year-old. There you go. But uh, we appreciate him being here. Um, you know, the other uh, thing that I've got to say today um, is I look back, and I always often reminisce. Uh, it's been four and a half short years uh, since January 1st of 2011 when I had the honor to officially take this position thanks to Governor Martinez's appointment. And, um, you know, I was driving down these roads that I do quite a bit. And I started thinking to myself and talking to some of my staff on the phone, and I said, man, four and a half years ago, man, it was pretty bleak here. I'm going to be very honest. Uh, we had nothing in the pipeline. Um, our state's income tax rate, uh, business tax rate, was ranked among the highest in the country, top seven to be exact. We didn't have a closing fund. We had a very punitive tax system in other, other ways. 
Our job training incentive program, our JTIP fund job training program was broke. Uh, we inherited a huge budget, the governor did, with no relief in sight. Um, and I was thinking, wow, nobody knocking at our door for expansions or relocations. And I always say that taxes matter, a regulatory environment matters, and ultimately having incentives in place and a friendly tax environment is critical to recruiting and keeping and growing companies that are in our state. The leadership of this governor has been, in my opinion, outstanding. And in the opinion of many announcements and people that we've had lately, have been absolutely outstanding. We're going up to Socorro here to announce another company today. The other thing that we want to say is that the collaborations are important. But ultimately, it takes leadership. It takes leadership from the top down. And Governor Martinez has insisted on a fiscal responsibility as an approach to governing. She has insisted on making New Mexico the most business-friendly state possible. And she has insisted, and I can tell you this firsthand, on making sure we follow up, Dimitri, and make sure that the businesses that are here already and the businesses that are recruited are taken care of and make sure that we pave the way so that they can continue to grow and prosper. She insists on that. And quite frankly, without the leadership, I'm not sure all these announcements that we've been doing lately and all of the wonderful economic news the governor's going to talk about today would have existed. And I'm very, very proud to be part of that story. Um, I always kind of tease the audience a little bit. Stay tuned because there will be more uh, good news coming uh, in due time. I'm very optimistic about that. This is one announcement of many that I hope we will have around the state here coming up very soon. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I always conclude by saying this. I'm so proud to be from Las Cruces and to be a Las Crucian. My heart is still here, and it's always great to be back for these kinds of announcements. It really gladdens me to no end. Um, it's a wonderful community, fantastic people. I know that. I grew up here. I was born here. And I want to continue to make sure that we have these announcements on a routine and regular basis. But with that, I say I'm proud to serve the state, I'm proud to serve all of you, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to serve Governor Martinez. With that, please welcome the governor of our great state of New Mexico, the Honorable Susana Martinez. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and John, you don't get to ask me my age. <laughs> Not that I look anything like Dimitri, but uh, <laughs> you still don't get to ask. Um, and, and I'm always thrilled to be back in uh, Las Cruces. Um, I made this my home. I chose Las Cruces to be my home, 20, well, 30 years ago. Um, and I have never regretted that decision after I graduated from law school. Um, I have known the mayor, Miyagashima, for quite some time. And, Recently, I texted him and said, um, call me, please. I have a question for you. And he said, who is this? <laughs> and I said, it's the governor. No, it's not. <laughs> and I said, yes, it is. is. You have my number in your phone, and I have your number in my phone. What is it registering? <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm like, answer the phone in a few minutes when I call you. <laughs> And so it was, uh, it was kind, of, kind of funny. He says, I, I didn't expect the governor to call me directly. And I said, of course, that's the kind of state that we are. We reach out. We are very accessible. Our cabinet directors, our leadership, accessible to the business community, to those that need help. Um, and if we can't help you, we will direct you to those that can. Um, and I also want to thank John Barella for all that he has done. I mean, I see him on the road so much. We are crisscrossing the state, making announcements all over the state, and I want to thank him for all his hard work and his team to make New Mexico as competitive as it has become in the last four and a half years. Thank you.
Now, before we get to today's announcement, let me update you on our economy. Because I think that's super important. Because it changes um, in short periods of time. Because I have some really, really good news to share with you. New Mexico was recently ranked number one in the United States of America for export-related job growth. And we're setting export records at nearly four billion dollars last year alone, doubling our exports to Mexico in one year and nearly quadrupling them since I took office. And our export mix is diversifying just like we want. That means more New Mexico business are exporting more of their goods to more places than ever before. And that truly is amazing and I congratulate you. You know, one, um, just a few weeks ago, CNBC issued its annual rankings of the top states for business. New Mexico jumped 13 spots in just the last year. Jumped 13 spots. I mean, I remember the days that we used to be at the bottom of the good list and the top of the bad. We jumped 13 spots in just one year, last year, tied for the biggest leap in the nation. We went from 37th in the country to number 24. I mean, those are amazing numbers. And, <laughs> and to top it all off, just last week, I announced that the United States Department of Commerce has ranked three of our metros in the top five for export growth in the nation. And guess what city ranks number one? Las Cruces. Absolutely. In a nation. Leading every other metro in the country with over 210% growth from last year, equi equaling over $1.3 billion. Now, Farmington followed in second place in the country with 140% growth and Santa Fe ranked fifth with over 102. This truly is incredible news. Three cities in the top five in the country come from New Mexico. And it's good to see that the world is getting out. The word is getting out to the entire world to say, come see where New Mexico is. Sometimes we get questions like, do you need a passport? It's like, no, it's this big chunk of land right between Texas and Arizona, and it's the fifth largest state in New Mexico with great assets for businesses to come. And right by the border where we have the port of entry where we can be the import and export growth um, for the Americas, South and North America. Um, so I am delighted, of course, to join ARCA Space Corporation CEO Dimitri uh, Popescu, who came all the way from Romania for today's announcement, and I heard that was a 24-hour flight. Uh, that is amazing. We've been working hard to make New Mexico more competitive, especially for manufacturing like ARCA. We instituted a single sales factor for manufacturing and curbed tax pyramiding, which often resulted in the double and the triple taxation of goods, particularly in manufacturing and in construction. We reduced our business tax rate by 22% and established an independent hearing officer in our tax department to make sure businesses get a fair shake. We're making progress, but there's still a whole lot more to do. We're never going to be satisfied. We in New Mexico compete. That's why I just recently signed a bipartisan jobs package. I want you to look at the stage. We are bipartisan because we serve all of the people of New Mexico. Just because you're registered a Democrat, you don't serve just the Democrats. Or just because you're a Republican, you don't serve just the Republican. We are elected to represent the entire state, even those that didn't vote. 
And that's why it's important, as we have representatives up here, that they are from both parties. And to work in a bipartisan way is extremely important. That's how we make these leaps and bounds in our economy, in our education, in all aspects of life, if we work together. And so these bipartisan jobs package that we just passed, it contains targeted incentives designed to recruit new businesses to New Mexico. It makes it easier for small businesses to get off the ground and to grow, expand trade and commerce along our southern border, and increase employment in our technology sector. And we're proud to have companies like ARCA as partners in our efforts to diversify our economy. They're one of the most well-known companies in private space flight. And today I'm proud to announce that we will be manufacturing unmanned aerial systems right here in Las Cruces. This project will create over 100 new jobs with an average salary of $52,000. Our Local Economic Development Act, our ORLIDA, which serves as our closing fund, now stands at $50 million. It's, it is indispensable in recruiting new businesses. Every other state has a closing fund. When I took office, there was very little to none. And we have grown it to $50,000, 50, million to make sure we're competitive with the rest of the United States. And helping those that are ready, already here, we want to help them expand and grow um, and hire New Mexicans. Through the closing fund, this project will receive $500,000 to be used toward the construction of their 14,000 square foot hangar and manufacturing space. We're going to keep going, every, doing everything we can do to make New Mexico more competitive for manufacturers and other businesses. Diversification is extremely important. We have four military bases, three national labs, very reliant on our federal dollars that we will fight for to the end. But we also have to make sure when there's uncertainty in Washington, D.C., that there will be certainty in New Mexico because we have diversified our economy. We're proud to have ARCA here and confident that they will grow our reputation as an aerospace industry leader. Thank you, Dimitri, for everything. Flying here 24 hours. I cannot imagine what you do for 24 hours in a seat. Um, and we are thrilled that you are here. You do look 30, uh, <laughs> but a successful 30. And we are so, so pleased to have you and we will do everything to keep you here and to grow. Much success to you, sir. God bless you, and God bless your company. Thank you, Governor Martinez. Uh, and thanks to all of you, because this wouldn't have happened without collaboration from top to bottom from all of these organizations who are represented here today. Uh, this is, it's, it's critical for us to have this type of collaboration for us to grow as a state. So I want to say thanks to everyone. And now, the reason we're all here today, I want to introduce you to Dimitru Popescu, who is the CEO of Arca Space Corporation. Please give him a warm Las Cruces welcome. In fact, in the past year, I've flown once a three weeks, so a lot of flights. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's so great being here today. A great man once said that space exploration is a force of nature into itself that no other force in society can rival. We at ARCA not only agree with it, but we dream of it and we live for it. So where else to fulfill one's dream but on the best place on Earth to develop and test 
aerospace technologies. I'm talking, of course, about the state of New Mexico. What is great about New Mexico? When we look around, we regard the endless desert. But in what other sea, an unhospitable place, we see a great treasure? A place to safely test new vehicles and technologies for aviation and space exploration. So here we are, prepared to push the envelope for our aerospace vehicles, for air strato and man aerial system, and for the Haas rocket series. But what is great above all else about New Mexico is its people. Please believe me when I'm telling you that I have never seen such a kind and welcoming community. We strongly believe that relocating ARCA in New Mexico is the best choice that we could have possibly made. We were overwhelmed by the support we received from both state and city officials and private individuals. And here, I would like to mention Governor Susana Martinez, Mayor Ken Migashima, Secretary John Burella, of course, City Manager Robert Garza, Dr. Patricia Hines. Thank you, Pat. Without you, it would have been far more difficult. Devin Lopez and Erin Montgomery from Vida, Gary Camarano, Chris Lang, Lisa Murphy from the airport, and New Mexico State University Physical Science Laboratory Flight Test Center that is also hosting us today. Thank you all for your support. Now, what is Arca Space Corporation bringing to the city of Las Cruces and to the state of New Mexico? Established in 1999 in Romania, in the European Union, by a group of aerospace students with virtually no money at all, Arca succeeded to build and launch its first rocket in 2004 in the Ansari X Prize competition that was eventually won by Scale Composite Spaceship One. We have also built the world's largest solar balloons that were launched into the stratosphere in 2006 and 2007, carrying a suborbital vehicle. In 2010, we've launched the first and only up-to-date space rocket in the Google Lunar X Prize competition. We were also involved in ExoMars planetary exploration mission being assigned by the European Space Agency to test and qualify the parachutes for the ExoMars spacecraft that will be launched to Mars next year. In 2013, we started the development of Air Strato, high altitude, long endurance, unmanned aerial system, and we work on the 40,000 pounds orbital and suborbital Haas rocket series that it is our intention to be tested and launched from Space Port America. Beside our technology, we are bringing to Las Cruces a well-known aerospace brand and the promise that we will create at least 100 high-paying jobs in the next three years, and I am ver being very conservative. So please allow me to ask you this. If we manage to do all of this in Europe, a place where it's difficult to test and fly aerospace vehicles, ima imagine what we could do here in New Mexico. If you are not aware by now, please let me tell you that our ambition is unlimited. And one of our objectives is to make ARCA and its aerospace vehicles symbols of New Mexico the place where we'll pour all our hopes, dreams, dedication, and hard work. The first step was made. New Mexico is officially, starting from today, the home of ARCA space. Thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, join me one more time in welcoming Arca Space Corporation Las Cruces. Thank you. Thank you.